I can just go to Chanel and just buy whatever I want. Bad idea. I can't just buy whatever I want. Welcome back guys. I am getting ready this morning and I thought that I would take you into my closet because I posted on Instagram if you guys want to see a little bit more inside. So let me show you. I try to keep it really organized, but you know, I'm a girl on the go. So I always have like suitcases everywhere and I'm throwing my clothes everywhere. And my mom is a stylist and organizer and she goes insane. So she comes over like once a week and kind of organizes my closet a little bit. So this is where I have more of my like blouses. I try to keep it in some sort of color coordination. Here I have my shorts. These ones are super fun. I wore these to Coachella. This section kind of only gets out during vacation time. This is kind of my basics that I wear every day. I'm totally obsessed with these super simple tops from Zara and they feel really comfy. They go with everything. I like to wear it um, with a blazer on top. It looks super chic. This is just all kind of like my basics. Simple black t-shirt. <laughs> just like simple black bodysuits. This is where I live every day. Then we go into my jeans. Do you guys have a lot of jeans? Because I feel like I have so many pairs of jeans. This is not even all of them. Here I have all my blues. I like to wear high-waisted skinny jeans. I think that they're the most flattering on my body type. These ones are super fun. I got them at the Levi's vintage store. Velvet ones for the holidays. These are also super cool. Clearly I haven't worn them yet. But I think these are like really fun for festival season. Coachella, which is like a cool kind of ripped up white t-shirt. In here, I have some fun body suits. Whoa, never worn this one before, but I think it could be really cute with like some leather high-waisted pants. What is this one? This is a Victoria's Secret kind of, what is this called? Like a halter top. Could also be really cute with a blazer. This one I love from VS. I don't think um, they sell it anymore, but I think this one's super gorgeous and you can like dress it up and looks really chic and classy. All right, now these are all of my leather pants. I have the hardest time finding leather pants that fit me well, which is why I have so many different ones. Leather is kind of annoying. If anyone knows a trick about how to get leather back to its original shape, please let me know. These. I just bought these pants. I splurged a little. They are from Chloe and I absolutely love them they fit really cute a little like boyfriend slouchy fit waiting for the perfect place to wear them hopefully soon maybe a date night also in here i just have like other kind of cool dress pants um these are really nice i got these at a vintage store actually when i did the vintage shopping challenge i snuck and bought those on the side now i have my bigger jackets downstairs all of my furs and everything that i used to wear in new york and still do when I go, but I don't live there anymore. Here I have my kind of denim collection. There's some fun ones in here. This one I got, come out. This one I got during Coachella. Victoria's Secret did a house there where they threw a party. So I really, really love this. And it's just brings me such good memories. This one's cute. Someone also sent this to me during Coachella season last year, thought it's fun. I love anything with my name on it, so <laughs> I'm one of those people. This one's also fun. Everyone knows I freaking love McDonald's and McDonald's found out, so they sent me this package. I've not yet worn it, but I mean, it's so perfect. I gotta pull this out and wear it. This one I love, it's from Sandro. I like that it's a little bit more dressed up and has um, these pearls and little rhinestones. You can like, wear with jeans and your outfit gets a little bit more elevated. And then we go into my blazers. This one's from Meshki and I love it. It's kind of like a silk fabric. It's perfect for a night out or a date night. This red one I fell in love with because it's a little bit more dressed up. And Zara actually has some really good stuff. I feel like every time I go in there, it's hit or miss, but this day was a hit and I wear this one all the time. I have this other linen one that's from Zara. Then we go into all my black ones. I feel like black is pretty self-explanatory. Nothing too exciting. This velvet one is really nice for the holidays. Now we have my shoes and some bags. So this brown Prada bag up here is 
really special because that is the first bag I bought after doing my first Abercrombie and Fitch job. I got my first check and I was like, I really want one of those Prada bags and everyone used to carry these bags. So that was super exciting for me to get that that one and then I also bought a black one which is in another room it's a little bit bigger that I used to take with me on my castings because my book fit perfectly in there it's huge it's like this big and then after I kept making more money then I started to collect these bags because they were honestly my favorite I haven't used them in forever but they just sit here and remind me of like my first paycheck that I got in my first shop these shoes I've worn them once because the color is a little bright but I feel like in Miami, they're super cool. My mom got them for me for Christmas. They're from Saint Laurent. Some of my stuff in my closet, I literally just have here because I just like to look at it. Manalos are my favorite stilettos. They are the most comfy. These ones I bought on my first trip to London. They're Burberry. I, I'm just like obsessed with this print. And again, it was one of those times where I think I was walking like my first like Tom Ford show or something. So I felt like, oh, I'm gonna go celebrate and give myself a gift. More Manolos, I wear these all the time. These are Alaya's. These, obviously, Louboutins. But let me tell you, those are not comfortable. I can honestly barely wear these shoes because I'm just in pain the entire time. Because look at that freaking arch. But they look good. So you kind of got to suck it up. And, or what, are they, what do people say? They're the shoes that you like only wear like to the car and then to the restaurant and then you take them off. I feel like that's what those definitely are. These are super fun Chanel shoes that I never wear. Look, I've never worn them. <laughs> I just like to look at them because they're pretty. These were maybe one of my first pair of Louboutins that I bought as well. I must have bought these in Paris. I love these little Chanel flats. I'm such a flats girl. My agent used to get mad at me all the time because I'd always wear flats in New York City and he's like, models don't wear flats. And I'm like, I don't care. I want to be comfy. Like. You guys leave me alone. When I get in the casting room, I will put on my heels. So you'll see a lot of flats in my closet. Love this bag. This is one I take out all the time. This one I got not long ago. I love the print. My boyfriend gave this to me on Valentine's Day. I absolutely love this little Louis Vuitton bag. This Prada bag. Love, love the color. I think it's really fun to buy bags that are not all like black and tan and white. I think it's fun to play around and have different colors so you can kind of dress up your outfits a little bit. Here, this bag I carry all the time. This is my my go-to. Love the color. This one is also really fun. And this one. I think this is so classy and so chic. I think they also sell them when they come in different uh, different color flaps. Okay, where to next? Up here. This black one up here, this little Louis Vuitton bag, I really love. It is so special because I went on a trip with my friends to, where did we go? We went to Ireland. I was in a restaurant with Josephine, actually. My boyfriend disappeared for like 30 minutes. And I'm like, where the heck did he go? He said he was going to the bathroom. He didn't go to the bathroom. He came back with that bag just on a random day. That bag is really special to me. This one, I don't know if I can reach it. I need a little ladder in here. This is one of my favorite bags. I bought this in Las Vegas. Don't go shopping when you drink because this is the kind of stuff that happens. You buy bags that you shouldn't buy. This is a little Tom Ford bag. Um, it comes with a longer strap. It's, I, I love it. This is my bag that I wear all the time and you probably see me with it all the time. And then the rest up there are just kind of really fun bags that I think were sent to me they're just fun and colorful. This pink bag here, I absolutely love, but the purchase was a really bad idea because I was in Vegas again. I had too much tequila and I was like, oh, I can just go to Chanel and just buy whatever I want. Bad idea. I can't just buy whatever I want. I woke up the next morning and I called my financial advisor and I was like, oh my God, I just actually bought three bags. The other bag must be downstairs. I bought three bags at one time at Chanel. What am I thinking? Am I like Beyonce or something? No. And I was like, oh my God, please don't kill me. And guys, Chanel bags are not freaking cheap. Anyways, he's like, well, I hope they're really nice looking bags, Jasmine. And I'm like, ah, they are. <laughs> so they have to be out on display in my closet so I can remember to use them. Again, don't shop 
and drink. It's very bad for your bank account. Okay, let's see what's next. Oh no, there's more down here. This is really cool. My mom got it for me for Coachella last year. I was wearing a black outfit that had like coin detailing on it or like my necklaces or something had a coin. So I thought it was fun. I actually didn't end up wearing it because my phone didn't fit inside. <laughs> That's a deal breaker for me. If your phone doesn't fit inside, it's not worth it. I thought it was cute to look at. I thought it's fun to have in your closet. Why not? Okay, let's see what else is down here. The famous Bottega dumpling clutch. Rosie wears Bottega all the time and she was posting this bag in her Instagram and I'm like, oh my God, I need to buy that bag. Then I went on Bottega's website and saw how expensive it was and I'm like, I cannot buy this bag. That is crazy to spend that much money on a bag. But then I went to see it in person and I was like, Oh, I have to get it. I love it so much. I splurged. I think it's okay to do that to yourself like every now and then, obviously not all the time, but it's something that I couldn't get out of my head. I loved it so much and it's great. It fits like a ton of stuff and it's nice that you can just open it up. I love, it's really simple black Givenchy. Some more shoes down here. These Jimmy Choo's, cute. Wear it with anything. These Manolo's, I love. Super cute, I feel like I'm in Sex and the City when I wear these. I thought these were cute, I just got them. Cute for next summer, <laughs> not now, because it's freaking cold. But next summer, I'm definitely gonna wear these ones. These, I love. I think this is so chic and cool with like a sexy black pant or even just like a little black dress. Kind of dresses it up, you don't really need jewelry because you have jewelry on your feet. Okay. So I'm not gonna reach up and grab these because it's so high. But up here, I have lined some of my shoes. So there's like black boots there, these like tan suede boots. These ones are super cool. I actually really love these ones. These are so cute because you can just tie them around your ankle. It makes for a really, really cute summer dress. So see you next summer. Okay. Oh God, I really need a ladder. Then in here, I have nothing exciting. It's all of my sweatshirts that I wear. My sweaters, some of them are in the laundry, but normally they're all there. Sweatpants, fun stuff, wand stuff. And then we go over here, and this is where I have my longer dresses. This is a cover-up that I've never worn, but I think it's really pretty to hang here. Um, next time I go on vacation, another really beautiful white dress. This is kind of where I come in my closet if I'm going to a wedding, if I'm going to an event that's a little bit more fancy. Honestly, I think this is like my wedding section, unless it has a crazy print because I don't want to like ruin the bride's photos. <laughs> this one is really cool. I've never worn it, but I think it's really fun. I'm saving it for an event. I'm not sure what event. Someone have an event that I can wear this to. But I think it's really cool and different and something that I personally would never normally wear because I kind of stay away from prints unless they're really simple. But I'm trying to step out of my comfort zone a little bit with this one and try it out. So it's been hanging in here, honestly, for like, I don't know, like four months or something. This side is more of my shorter dresses. I love these little ones that you can just throw on and then have like a denim jacket with. Love florals, clearly. <laughs> these dresses, okay. So I went to Miami for my birthday last year and I made all of my friends wear neon. I'm sure you guys remember the photos. So I brought these dresses in all different colors. These are from Mesh Key. They were nice enough to send me all of these and it made for a super, super fun trip. I have also orange and pink and red. I was gonna get rid of them, but I thought it's like, why not save them in case someone else has like a neon party? It's just good to have it. And I have many, so I can let my friends borrow some. Nothing else too exciting, just a lot of short dresses. Then down here, I don't even know what's here. These are my skirts. I love wearing silk skirts like this and then just pairing it with like a little plain white t-shirt. These are sets, like cashmere sets that you can wear to the airport. These are really, really cool. I bought these, I was going to the Harper's Bazaar 
Icons event two years ago, three years ago. And I wore these with this really beautiful, like mustard color dress. And I couldn't find a shoe because the color of the dress was so hard to match with. Then I came across these as I was walking out of Barney's and they were perfect and it made the dress look amazing. These are my favorite shoes of all time. I think Jimmy Choo actually just stopped making them and I'm so bummed. I'm gonna actually go look on the website again. But when I first bought these, I wore them and I'm like, these are the most comfortable shoes ever. I mean, look at the damage that I've done. I've worn them everywhere. And I'm saving them so I can take them to a shoe repair. But they're the most comfortable shoes. You can wear these all night, all day, and your feet never hurt at all. But when I bought them, I bought three pairs because I was like, when you find something good, you just freaking get a lot of it. And I need to buy a couple more. These are kind of fun. These little like Valentino ones with these little jewels here. Love those. Up here, I have some really cool Proenza shoes. These snake, shoes, snake skin shoes are really cool. Fake, obviously, fake snake skin. They're by Elias May. I thought those were cute. There's also like green ones there. And then those are more up there. I'm not gonna pull them down because I feel like all we're talking about is shoes. <laughs> These John Elliott Nike sneaks. I love them. I'm not much of a chunky sneaker girl, but I get away with these. These ones I can wear and I'll wear them to the airport. I bought these sneakers for Coachella last year. I thought they were fun to wear with just like plain denim, a little green on the back. I just wore, I think I wore like jean shorts, a white t-shirt and those. It made it a little bit more fun. These are Gucci loafers. So, so, so comfortable. I also have a black pair somewhere. I just don't know where they are, but I love the colors. These shoes I've had forever, maybe since I was 20. They've kept up pretty well. Love a little espagel. They are from Louis Vuitton and they're great summer shoe. These I thought were so cute. I've maybe worn them once or twice, but they're Aqua Zora and I love the little bumblebee. It's cute if you're wearing like a little white flowy dress. I feel like I'm trying to sell you guys shoes. And these ones here. Um, these I love, I just bought them. I've always wanted these shoes, but whenever I go into Chanel, instead of buying shoes, I always end up buying a bag. But this time I was like, okay, I'm gonna go in and I'm not gonna look at the bags, I'm gonna buy a shoe. So I bought these, love them. It makes every outfit look so chic and put together. This with any color jeans and a blazer, you're good to go. These ones I love, my boyfriend got these for me. We call each other love bug. So our little uh, symbol that we like have with each other is a ladybug. So this was like the perfect little gift. My shoelaces need to go back in. I love these, they're very special. These ones, he actually also got me for my birthday last year. So thanks Juan, you're a great gift buyer. I'm just realizing everything I'm going through. And then finally, last is these boots that I just bought that I'm obsessed with. They are from Tom Ford and I think they're so cool and sexy and I don't have anything like it. And I have a zipper that goes up the back. They're unreal. These ones I also bought the same day. Oops. But they're so cool for the winter. I love them. Whoa. They're like amazing. The shape looks kind of funny right now. Let me try and make it more round. But these are absolutely like so cool. I just want to like walk in New York City wearing all like tan and be very monochro monochromatic. I feel like if I put these on, I feel like J-Lo, right? Aren't they cool? I have more shoes downstairs, but all my shoes downstairs are more like this. I just brought these up so I could show you guys because I love them so much. But all my shoes downstairs are like my thigh high boots from Stuart Weitzman. They're amazing. I have black leather ones, suede. Then I have other like booties in red and more black and different prints and all that fun stuff. And then all of my winter coats. So I feel like I gave you guys a very in-depth, oh, my glasses. Can't forget about my glasses. So here are my glasses. I love that they're all on display like this because I can really pick and choose and see what looks good, which ones I wanna wear. These ones are really cool. They're vintage. Put them on for you guys. They're these vintage frames. I got them in London at the Vintage Frame store. I think the store is actually called Vintage Frames. I don't know. I think that's it for my closet. I will see you guys soon. I am also, I know I skipped my jewelry, which is in here. 
but I'm going to be doing another video on my jewelry, which is either posted already or being posted soon. Get out of my closet. See you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe.